this. This is the real secret to great skin right here. Oh my gosh, why is it so cold? Electrolytes and minerals, girl. Hey y'all, so I'm back with another video and today I'm doing my long awaited, long overdue, super procrastinated, um, the universe was working against me. I like there's so many things, excuses and non excuses as to why this video is just not getting filmed. But I am doing my skincare video. <laughs> so if you guys follow me on Snapchat, you know that this video it was a mess. So many things happened. But here I am. I'm finally doing the video. Um, I will say this is a video with Dermy E. Um, I was fortunate enough to go to Generation Beauty this past January um, and I got to talk with the people with Dermy E and I got all these wonderful goodies to try out and to, you know, just basically use. Um, however, I didn't know the impact, the great impact it was going to have on my skin. So to find out the details of what I use and how it's worked for me, keep watching. Before we get started, I would like to say that I do have combination oily skin, um, so these are the products that work best for me. Um, I was sent a couple of other things that didn't necessarily work for me, so I'm only going to talk about the products that worked for me and my skin and what helped me clear up my skin and give me the confidence that I needed. I would also like to mention that Derma E is vegan, cruelty free, 100% natural, and GMO free, which for me I found right on time because the same time that I went to Generation Beauty and I came across Derma E was right around the time I was making the transition into becoming pescatarian and kind of using more cruelty-free products. Um, I haven't found all of the cruelty-free products to replace some of my non-cruelty-free products, but um, the biggest step for me was in my skincare. The first product that I do use when I am removing my makeup or just um, cleansing my skin in general, mostly when I'm removing my makeup, unfortunately is not a Derma E product. Um, I use um, facial towelettes, makeup remover wipes, whatever you want to call them. Um, and I'm not brand specific. Um, I usually either get the Kirkland brand when I go to Costco or I'll get the Neutrogena brand if I go to Sam's Club. Obviously, I'm buying in bulk, so I don't discriminate. It's either these, those ones, or sometimes I use the simple ones as well. It really just depends on what they have available and what I feel like using. So, makeup remover wipes, I'm not brand specific. I really don't care too much, as long as there's not a lot of fragrance in them, because with my eyes and stuff, even if I don't use them on my eyes, I notice that the fumes kind of make my eyes burn and tingle, and I have really sensitive eyes. I can't be having all that. Next, I use the... Derma E Purifying Gel Cleanser. This stuff is life. So I'm almost out of it, honestly. Like, that's how much I use it. However, it's this is a pretty big bottle. And I got this, I want to say I got it around, like, February. Maybe, like, February, March. And it's August now. So the fact that I'm just now kind of running out and I need a new one should let you know a little goes a long way. Um, and you don't need a lot of product to get really great results. Um, so I use this cleanser combined with my um, facial brush. I was on the fence about getting Clarisonic. However, this has been working really well for me. I get it at Sephora. It's $14. Um, and it works for me. Every, you know, everything is different for everybody. If you have a Clarisonic or a Furio or any type of, um, like... What am I trying? Electric facial brush, and it works for you, then it works for you. This works for me. This combination right here works amazingly for me. Um, this does have activated charcoal in it, which, if you don't know about activated charcoal, what are you doing with your life? Um, and then, of course, marine algae in it. Now, if you guys have been following um, me and watching my videos for a long time, you know that I had really bad hyperpigmentation um, in this area. I still have a couple of marks here, but it was really, really bad here um, and along my chin. Anytime I ever got a pimple, without fail, I was going to get a dark mark. And it made me really self-conscious. Um, 
you like right now I don't have any makeup on my face the only thing I have on my face right now is my moisturizer um and that's it I don't have any no tinted moisturizer no powder no concealer no nothing this is me completely raw uncut face um however using this and this as an exfoliant um I started to see a great improvement in my skin um, and like I said it's made me really confident to be able to not only go out without makeup on because I would go out run errands and all of that without makeup but being on camera with makeup without makeup on would have never happened so this is like my holy grail face cleanser like I won't use anything else this is it I I'm running low and like I'm starting to like kind of hold on to it because I need to go get some more <laughs> but this is my holy grail product so as I mentioned with exfoliating and things like that my next kind of match made in heaven kind of Jack and Jill product um, to piggyback off of the facial cleanser is the microdermabrasion scrub so that's another thing about hyperpigmentation marks you kind of have to resurface the skin and that's exactly what a microabrasion microdermabrasion scrub does jeez louise girl microdermabrasion that's what the scrub does um, and I use this once a week um, this I do use daily this I use once a week um, and I just you know moisten my hands kind of moisten my face a little bit and then just scrub away and then I rinse it off and um, proceed with my skincare routine now on the days that I don't use the microdermabrasion scrub I use the two-in-one charcoal mask um, so you apply it you can use your hands I like to use this, this is an old foundation brush and I squeeze it onto the brush of course paint it all over my face um and i let it sit and you can feel your pores tightening you kind of feel the, everything coming out of your your skin and all of that and then it says leave it on for five minutes um or of course until the mask dries sometimes i leave it on a little bit longer i might start like doing laundry or i don't know something and i kind of for, not necessarily forget but i'm like oh it's been like 10 minutes whatever so i do that and then you're supposed to wet your hands and then kind of like emulsify it and work it into your skin and it also acts as a scrub and that's why it's like two in one and there's you can see like the little pieces of like the algae and of course there's char activated charcoal in it and you just work it into your skin and it also exfoliates and resurfaces the skin and helps with those dark marks and these were this and the cleansing gel were the first two products that I like actively started using because I noticed that it did have activated charcoal in it and I know how good that is for um, your skin especially for women of color okay so once my skin has either been cleansed um, or I've used a mask or I've used whatever scrub or anything like that the next thing I like to go in is with the purifying youth serum um, I am only 28 <laughs> and I know that I don't have any wrinkles or creases or anything that I don't desire yet but I feel like if I'm proactive about it now when I get older it won't be that much of an issue in my head this is kind of like <clears throat> fountain of youth in a bottle um, it has again the marine algae and green tea it is a serum so you only need a little bit I apply it over my entire face and it helps with protecting your skin against um, free radicals and just everyday damage so I like to put that on um, after I have cleansed um, finished cleansing and like scrubbing and all of those things so there are some times where I don't use a scrub and I don't use any type of mask but sometimes I feel like my skin still needs a deeper clean or some type of deeper penetration because I am wearing makeup so much whether it's filming or for work or just because I feel like putting on makeup I feel like I'm wearing a lot of makeup and I need my skin to be um, deeper cleansed or just resurface I go in with the overnight peel with alpha hydroxy acids um, this too is an exfoliant now the reason I said that I don't use a scrub with this is when you use any type of scrub especially a microdermabrasion scrub and even sometimes when I use my facial brush it's opening up all the pores on my face and now my skin there's a new layer of skin and it's like brand new and then this is a peel so then you put this on and it has chemicals and you put this on it and it burns 
so bad and it's not like the good kind of burn where you're like oh yeah I can take it I made the mistake one time of using the microdermabrasion scrub and then putting this on my face and I literally thought my face was going to just melt off it burned so so bad so I do not recommend using this when you use any of the scrubs anything that's going to resurface your skin and give you a new layer of skin do not use this with it do not use it at all I began to notice that my skin was more supple and bouncy and where the hyperpigmentation marks were, um, my pores were starting to get smaller, which was a great thing for me because, again, along with the hyperpigmentation, my pores being so large, um, although hereditary, I was still a little subconscious about them. So this was a good kind of helper outer, if that is a word. Now, like I mentioned before, I am only 28. I don't have any crazy wrinkles or anything like that, but being proactive to prevent future you know damage or anything like that is always a good thing so with that being said I do like to use the firming eye lift cream place it around here I have used other eye creams before and I noticed that when I use them I would wake up in the morning and I would have kind of like like my eyes would kind of be like goopy and like stuck together this um, did not give me any problems at all um, which is a good thing because like I said my skin my eyes not my skin my eyes are extremely sensitive So this is just a preventative thing. I can't say like yeah I noticed major difference because like I said, I don't have major wrinkles I can say sometimes when I don't when I don't consistently use this I do see a little puffiness like right now I do have some puffiness, but I am also really tired Thanks to my boyfriend waking me up at 6 30 in the morning Okay, so last but not least um, my moisturizers Everything that I use here, I do mostly for the nighttime. The only thing different for daytime is daytime, I only use my um, face wash. If I deem it necessary, um, most of the time I'll just wipe my face um, with a makeup wipe because this. This is the hydrating night cream. Now this, I will probably would say it's not for oily skin and I do have oily skin. Um... However, because it is a hydrating um, moisturizer, even just the tiniest bit amount for me, it carries on into the next morning. So if I put it all over my face and, you know, use my moisturizer, and I use my moisturizer after I use all my serums, make sure that you're using your moisturizers after your serums because you want you don't want your serums to have to penetrate through this heavy night cream to then work. You just want them to have direct contact with your skin and then you put the moisturizer on top. So when I, I notice that when I use this at night, when I wake up the next day, my skin feels, it still feels very hydrated, it's very soft and it's very supple, um, but I'm also not oily. There was a time before where I was using different moisturizers at night or I wasn't using a moisturizer at night at all and I would wake up in the morning and my whole face would be very oily and very slick. Whereas now I use this and I wake up and there's still some oil, however, it's nowhere near as bad as it was before. And I feel like honestly, I could just go back in here we go with our daytime moisturizer. This is the Firming um, D-Main Moisturizer. And just put a little bit of this on and I'll go ahead with my normal routine, with my makeup, you know, whatever primers or things that I decide to use. So these two are kind of like brother and sister. I use this one at night and then I use this one in the day. <laughs> this one in the daytime. Um, but like I said, most of this, most of my skincare is my nighttime routine. In the daytime, it's usually just this. Um, with this and my daytime moisturizer at night oh and my firming eye cream at night it's the whole shebang all right guys so that concludes my skincare products my current skincare products if you would like to see a video of me using these products where I can go a little more into detail of how they feel and how they work on the skin for me please leave those in the comments down below or give me a thumbs up um, other than that I don't think I have anything else to tell you guys other than thank you so so much for watching my video um, if you want to see what happens when I take these out subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a video um, other than that thank you so much for watching I love you guys so very much and stay beautiful stay true and stay you I'll see you guys later bye